Welcome to the homework for Grade 3, Module 1, Lesson 4. Write your name first. Don't forget to do that. You want to get credit for it. Are we working on division now. And mostly we're going to be looking for our quotient to be uh, the number in each group. So we're going to use the pictures, and sometimes we're going to have to draw pictures. The first one, 12 chairs are divided into two equal groups. The groups have to be equal. It's very important. Just like with multiplication, it has to be for division. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chairs in each group. Number 2, 21 triangles are divided into three equal groups. So we've got 21 triangles. Here's how I'm going to draw them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and there's twenty one of them, eighteen. 19, 20, 21. If you do it that way, it's kind of like dealing cards in a card game. Everybody has the same number of cards. Well, all the groups are going to have seven triangles. And that's a way for you to find out what your quotient is. If you know the number of groups, you just deal the cards, draw them in one at a time, so that way you can sort it all out and you can figure out that there are seven triangles in each group. And you've got to have the picture. And you got to have that number. <clears throat> now we have for number three, 25 erasers are divided into how many equal groups? One, two, three, four, five equal groups. And how many erasers are in each group? You got to draw them. I'm just going to make. I'm just going to make like sort of tally marks because there's going to be 25 of them, and they're going to have to fit in these tiny groups. So I'm going to do, so for 25, I'm just going to do just like I did with the triangles, but it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So that's all 25 of them. And you can see that from the tally marks, if I can clean them up here, there are five erasers in each group. And now the number four, we're looking at chickens. And it's asking us here for how many chickens there are. And you can count them all. There's nine chickens there. And they're divided into... We're counting. We're looking at the rows for the equal groups here. So that's that's three rows. That's three equal groups. And so there are how many chickens in each group? There are three chickens in each group. Then there's nine divided into three groups equals three chickens in each group. And now we're to the bottom of the page. Looking at number five, we're counting buckets. There are, let's see, we have, we're looking at rows, and those are our groups. One, two, three, four groups. Each group has three buckets. So there's 12 buckets divided into four different groups is three buckets in each group. And now we're looking at just rectangles. One, two, three, four. So we have, there's 16 of them here in this array. And there are four rows. So 16 divided into four equal groups. There are four. You can just see there's four in each row or four in each group. Four rectangles. Keep going. Second page. 
Andrew has 21 keys. There's 21 total keys in this whole picture. He puts them into three equal groups. How many keys are in each group? We can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven keys in each group. We know that they're equal groups, so we don't have to count all of them because it tells us that they're equal. So there's seven keys in each group. So we have 21 keys divided into three groups equals seven keys in each group. And now we're on to number eight. Mr. Doyle has 20 pencils. He divides them equally, that's important, between four tables. So each big box here that's a table, that's a table, that's a table, and that's a table. Draw the pencils on each table. You have to draw the pencils on each table. So we've got 20 pencils. I'm going to just, these can look just like tally marks. One, 20 of them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 pencils. How many pencils are on each table? There's five. These boxes are each, one of them is a square table. There are five pencils on each table. So 20 pencils divided into one, two, three, four groups is five pencils in each group. And then now we're on to our last one, number nine. Jenna has markers. The picture shows how she placed them on her desk. Write a so we're going to write a division sentence to represent how she equally grouped her markers. And we look at this array, it's got, I'm just going to underline the, row, the rows here. One, two, three, four, there are five rows. So how many markers are in each row? There's one, two, three, four markers in each row. There's five rows, we could count them all. That means there's, there's going to be 20 markers divided into how many rows? One, two, three, four, five rows equals four markers in each row. And that's it, we're done.